Yeah, Paul, neighbors tell me the water was so high it nearly toppled over this mailbox. You can see it's hanging by a thread. The rain's still coming down, still water and debris on the roadway and sidewalk. But let me show you this. This is what a lot of the vehicles here on I Street look like. Take a look inside this vehicle. You can see flood waters right there. This is what folks are dealing with here in this neighborhood. Definitely days of cleanup to come. Now, I have those ladies who live here and next door with me. Ladies, you showed me. Some video that you caught where there was a guy's vehicle floating down the river. What was that, or down the road? What was that like? It was scary because I thought the guy might have been hurt or something because we thought there were kids in there. So we were concerned. They went down there to go look for it to see what was going on and see if he was in there. He was fine, but. It still was scary. Very to see scary. It. And also, you guys took safety precautions. What did yeah. you do to get away from the floodwaters? We put our children on our shoulders and we swam to higher ground. Backpack, dogs, all. <laughs> That's just how high the water was. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> all right, ladies, we're so glad you're okay tonight. And also, Paul, I did talk to officials. They tell me at one point more than 8,000 people were without power, but they were able to restore that power tonight. Paul, back to you.